and uh, we'll be discussing Hanky Panky. All right. Well, Jean, as always, it is good to see you, and it's been nice much to too see long. You, again. you know, I didn't recognize you. You know why? Why? You don't have your cup of tea. Ah, you missed it. I had it. I had it a little while ago. I did, and it got cold, so I'm going to get some fresh. Yes, you and I are the That's tea right. drinkers. That's we compare right. teas that we have known and loved. Are you still drinking Earl Grey? Yes, mm. yes. That's mine. Yeah, okay. But we must talk about Hanky Panky. I enjoyed the movie very much, Good. Jean. And, uh, but as I looked at it, I thought, gee, such a physical picture. Mm. Do you think it's your most physical picture? I think from the bruises I got after, I think it must have been. I really got knocked about in that picture. I was running, you know, since I saw Richard Widmark in, what was it, uh, Kiss Tomorrow Goodbye? No, you know which one, where he played Tommy Udo when he first burst on the American public as that um, villain. Uh, he played Tommy Udo, uh, and Victor Mature was the hero. I always wondered what it would be like to have that kind of person chasing after me in a movie, and now I finally do, uh, <laughs> because Richard Widmark is trying to kill me for about an hour and 43 minutes, you know, and it's, uh, and I run and jump and uh, scrape and build and uh, leap, and it, uh, I got hurt a little bit, but not bad, never bad. You survived, mm -hmm. the great survivor. I am a survivor. Yes. I wondered also, your co-star in this is Gilda Radner, and she's just, isn't she wonderful? Yeah, she's wonderful. Why are you smiling? Because <laughs> you, you want to know what I think of her. <laughs> It'll be more than wonderful, yes. She yeah. is wonderful. Um, I, I wondered if perhaps acting opposite someone like her, who is a sketch artist, as opposed to someone who does mostly stand-up comedy, Richard Pryor, you know, works in one, stand-up mm -hmm. comic. Mm -hmm. Is it easier to adjust to someone who is a sketch comic? Um, well, I don't think, I think Gilda was on Saturday Night Live a sketch comic. I think that Gilda is an actress and uh, now she's becoming a movie actress and it's a different field for her. But I don't think that her range has been tapped yet. As far apart as some of her characterizations were on television, Rosanna, Rosanna Dana, and, and Lisa Lupner, and uh, uh, all of the characters she played, uh, now she's playing a woman, a regular woman. She's funny, but she's a human being being funny. She's not a caricature being funny. Uh, but that in itself wouldn't determine whether it was easier or harder. It's the chemistry between the people. I think with Gilda, as with Richard, there's something that either clicks or it doesn't click. And um, something clicked with Richard and me that will last a lifetime. And that something clicked with Gilda and me right, to the extent that it never did with anyone else before. So that, uh, I don't know, it's a hard thing to gauge chemistry. But uh, Richard and I have it, and I think that Gilda and I have it. Um, we'll see what the audience thinks. Do you and Gilda plan to make more movies together? Yeah, I'm working on two scripts now that I'll be um, supervising the writing of. One is for Gilda and me, and the other is for Gilda and Richard Pryor and me. And... Uh, Whichever one is done first is the one that we'll do. When you were working with Richard before, and, and he was in, into drugs so heavily, did it ever get in the way of the work, Gene? Um, I don't know what he was doing uh, in the world of drugs, and I've never talked to him about it. It may seem strange to you. It's not, a, in, it's not necessarily an evasion. Uh, I got to know Richard, and I got to love him. And he was going through a difficult period uh, during Stir Crazy, I know that. And I went through difficult periods too, not with drugs, but with emotional things in my life. But I never talked to him about that. So 
You'd have to ask him. So the work got done. Oh, yeah. You saw it on the screen. <laughs> the work got done. One of the scenes that is my favorite scene in Hanky Panky is the monologue where you're trying to tell the cop and you're trying to oh, tell yeah, Gilda yeah. what happened. How many takes did you do on well, that? Well, that was exhausting. I'll tell you why. Um, we had shot about three weeks of exciting drama, adventure. I'm caught up in this whole thing that I, I don't know how I got into it and a gun is in my hand and they think I killed someone. And now it's Gilda's first day of filming and a cop comes in and accuses me of all this stuff and I have to explain to him what happened. So I said, well, here's a page of dialogue. Now, if I stick to this, it's going to be really stale. And the dialogue wasn't that sparkling anyway. I said, so I'm going to tell for Gilda, who's just come onto the set for the first time, everything that happened from the start of the picture till this entrance. And I'll talk as fast as I can. But I never said the same thing twice. And we did it, I would say, like uh, nine times. And all of them were different. But I tried as hard as I could to honestly tell how I got into this horrible mess that I was in. <laughs> and, uh, and, 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 it, and it was exhausting. But the act of trying to recapture everything that happened, which actually did happen to me in the movie, not in real life, but in the movie, it started to bring about emotions of what has gone on during the last three weeks. So it, it was a... It was a, a strange experience, because I was telling another actor, actress in this case, everything that had happened to me before she came on the set. Well, it plays beautifully. Did Sidney take the best of the takes as far as you're concerned? Uh, I haven't seen the picture yet, so oh, I don't you're know. Kidding, no, really? I haven't seen it yet. <laughs> well, okay, next time I'll ask you then. Okay. Jean, really wonderful to see you again. Thank you. And uh, we'll get together again. Okay, do Share a cup of tea next time. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jean. Thank you. Good answer. All right, now how are we going to make this cut, um, you know, as far as these reverses when we're... If you look at her... Do you want to ask your questions again? Yeah, but should my body, should I turn the body around or just look no, no. over here? Face this way as it okay. Here. Okay. Why do you need it? Well, um, you know, let's see, we'll have to get Gene out yeah, of the I picture, know, yeah. of course, and what about I his... More than before, Gene. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Poor Jean. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, toward toward the camera. Yeah. Okay. Something like this, maybe. All right. I'll give you reactions first. Okay, questions. All right. Jean, this seems to be the most physical role you have ever done, is it? Yeah. Did you get hurt doing this movie at all? Bruised. Got bruised a lot. Okay. Gilda Radner. It, Gilda Radner is your co-star, and she's just absolutely wonderful, isn't she? Why are you smiling? Gilda is primarily, I guess we would say, a sketch comic. Richard Pryor is a stand-up comic. Is it easier working with someone who does sketch comedy than the stand-up comic? Gee, when you were doing those movies with Richard Pryor, did his drug usage ever get in the way of the film? Jean, what about the monologue scene? How did that... Let me do it again. Jean, this monologue scene, how many takes did you do of that?
Gene, what was it like doing that monologue scene? Okay, just keep rolling one second. Oh, okay. Do you and Gilda plan to do any other movies? Okay. Okay, I think that'll get it.